is what they had to practice in class. It's actually a lot more exciting to do than it is to watch because it's it's a, a, an important training, a foundational training for Tai Chi. It's a series of 10 foundational postures. Uh, we're only going to hold it for a couple seconds, but in class they hold it for like three to eight minutes. Yeah. And they think about the position that they're in, the breathing and relaxing. Okay, ride the wild horse, feet middle stance, and just do one round of ride the wild horse. One, uh, playing the guitar. Playing guitar is another posture that they hold. Playing guitar, playing guitar, the third one. Oh, either side. Uh, right foot forward. And playing guitar posture kind of looks like someone about to, like they, they're, someone's coming up like, wait a minute. You know, you're just like, just like, wait a minute. I don't want to fight. But you're like ready to go. Okay. <coughs> go ahead and release. And to compass, separate the feet shoulder width. we we'll just do one side of the compass and up. And to the right. And down to the right. And straight forward. These postures are help Gain, help you gain flexibility and strength for your Tai Chi practice. Down to the left. And roll to the left. And it might surprise you that learning this routine that they're demonstrating is the secret to having amazing power in your Kung Fu, punching and kicking. And to the right. And back up to center. Lower the hands down. And double dragon sleep from C, right foot forward. Posture five. Okay, hold it. And bend and stretch. And make your circle. And let's do three of them. One. Back. And two. Back. Rhinoceros gazes at the moon. Separate the feet about shoulder width. Bend both knees. <coughs> bring the hands up with the right hand high. We'll do the right side and left, then the right, left side. So go to the right first. Each posture helps develop fine motor controls or different set of fine motor controls that help improve someone's kung fu or tai chi. And to the left. Back to center and ride the tiger. Bring the feet together, turn to the left slightly, and don't go too far since we're not that warmed up. Okay, hands on the hips and step forward. And push up. Excellent. And go ahead, we'll do the other side. Balance it out and step forward. Not too far since we're not warmed up. And back. Okay, and Phoenix spreads wings. Bring the feet together and then separate them a little bit. Bend both knees and circle. Hands going back up and forward and continue. I was starting to say it might surprise you that, <coughs> that the school exists because I learned this routine back in the early 90s. It helped me understand my Kung Fu and my Tai Chi better. It got me excited to share it and actually start a school. Any <coughs> corrections? And release. 
hits. Number nine, hit the tiger. We're going to do one on each side. All right, we're going to hit the tiger to the right first. Ready? And to the right. And back. Good. And to the left one time. back. And last one is owl turns head. Separate the feet shoulder width. <coughs> hands on the hips. Bend both knees. Turn the head just to the right. And then just to the left. Back to center. Lower the hands. Circle the hands up. Push the palms down. Marissa, how old are you? Fourteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good job. There you go.